67-year-old Ed Buck sentenced to 30 years in prison for sexually abusing and drugging two black men to death. Wanted a life sentence to return to society. Kohaloyim, Wahawadla, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rakal Kwadash, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders who told me this truth. Shalawam to the Akiyam pushing this truth and sincerity. And Shalawam to the Akwathiam listening and learning this Sha'akia, Labana. What another video, Lord, one is that a fine? Well, you have Vocab Malone. To do, do a, to do a video on this so-called Christian right here who did this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and why why is this, uh you know, not all over the news like they did Bill Cosby? You know what I'm saying? Who, you know, they no had, they, had, they didn't have no physical evidence like they have evidence on this dude right here. You know what I'm saying? Why is not plastered up all over the news? You know what I'm saying? So it says wealthy Democrat donor, Ed Buck. Gets 30 years in prison for drugs, for sex debts. You know what I'm saying? This article came out, you know, April 14th, 2022. You know, this is walking dead. Uh, looking idiot on the screen right here who drugging people. You know, and it's got to be some type of, you know, fruitcake type stuff. Because how you even get close to this man and let this man drug you? You know? Let me just read it right quick. Get some scriptures in low Lord. Is that a fine? It says, Ed Buck. A prominent Democrat Party donor was sentenced to 30 years in federal prison on Thursday for personally supplying and injecting men with methamphetamine in order to be able to uh, Salakia. Salakia means forgive me. In order to be able to sexually assault them, leading to at least two overdose deaths. All right, what the hell are you doing there in the first place, man? You know what I'm saying? How you even get this fragile devil close enough? <laughs> To even, you know, forget it, man. Let me just read the article, all right? Because the scriptures warns us of these people, you know? These people are profane, fornicators, and they don't care. They want you to go against what the Heavenly Father said, you know what I'm saying? The Heavenly Father said two men shouldn't lie together. These people say you should lie together. You do what you want. Do what thy will, YOLO, you know what I'm saying? Do drugs, pop pills, you know? Have sex with other people's wives. Eat pork. Have sex on the Sabbath. These are things these people tell you to do. You know what I'm saying? And they tell you it's all right. He ain't worrying about it. Just say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus three times and do what you want to do. Keep on doing it. There's no repentance. No, there's no repentance for these heathen, man. They got it back. They got it. They, they know what they're doing, man. These people are the opposite of righteousness. They're the wickedness. All right? They wicked. Straight to the core, man. It says Thursday personal... Personally supplying and injecting men with methamphetamine in order to be able to sexually assault them. It says, leading to at least two overdose deaths, Buck, 76, was convicted last July of a number of felonies, including operating a drug den, distributing meth, and enticing men to cross state lines for prostitution. See? See what I'm saying? This dude looking for male prostitutes. You know? And that's way out of order. A man that's not supposed to lie with another man. A woman not supposed to lie with another woman. All right? It's supposed to be man and woman. Man and woman come together and create another human being. All right? Who grows up and does the same and create another human being. It's supposed to keep going like this. But if you leave it up to these idiots, man, you'll have nobody on the planet. You will have no one on the planet, man, according to these people. All right? Let me go to Hebrews right quick. Uh, 1216. Yes. Hebrews 1216. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Esau is not done away with. He's here. All right. You know what they call now? So-called white people. They're Edomites, the nation of Edom. Amalek. All right. Esau. That's who they are. And you even had YouTube deleting the video as soon as you say the word Esau. You hear me? Because they know who they are. Alright? Least there be any volcan uh, Salakia. Least there be any fornicator, a profane person as Esau, for who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, man. Alright? So let's get fornicator right quick. That said prostitute. Alright? Bam. So we're gonna go fornicator. It's the word for here. 
Strong's G, 4205. Parnas. Parnas. And it says, the outline of biblical use, you go to, you read, you read that, and it says, a man who prostitutes his body to another's lust for hire, a male prostitute. You know? And that's what these dudes are doing. Up there, doing all types of drugs, listening to all kinds of music, eating all kinds of food, so-called having fun. Having a blast doing wickedness, man. And look what look what happened to him. They got put to death by a fragile zombie looking Edomite devil, man. Alright? It says a male prostitute, a man who so hold up. A man who indulged in uh, unlawful sexual intercourse. A fornicator. You know what I'm saying? Because it's supposed to be a man and this woman, man. And sex is marriage too. If you ain't know, look it up. You know what I'm saying, when did the Most High come down and say, "Look, sign this piece of paper right here, jump over a broom, buy buy a high ass wedding dress that's about four five thousand twenty two hundred dollars, get you the best tuxedo and a limo, get the best building." You know what I'm saying? No, the Most High ain't say that. That's the way you get marriage. No man, sex is marriage. All right. Let's go back. So it says, uh, "What was that?" Leading to at least two overdose deaths, Buck, 67, was convicted last July of a number of felonies, including operating a drug den, distributing meth, and enticing men to cross state lines for prostitution. A one-time fixture of the West Hollywood political scene, Buck was described by federal pro prosecutors as a predator, and all of these Edomites as predators. Know what I'm saying, let's see if we can look this word predator up. <laughs> and that's exactly what he, uh, uh, the so called white man is, man. An animal that naturally preys on others. And you see that. You can look on the television. You can look in your local community. You can see what these centurions, so called centurions, doing to people. These, uh, these, these cops shooting so called black, Negro. I mean, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American men for nothing. You see how they bust in your house, smack four in the morning. You know what I'm saying? They taking people, children. They defiling the food. They defiling the air with chemtrails. You see these things going on, man. These people are predators. You know what I'm saying? So it says, an animal that naturally preys on others. And that's what they are. A person or a group, man, that ruthlessly exploit others. Asexual predator. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you see all the crazy, weird sex things these people doing. You know, you got people, you got these Edomites marrying Ferris wheels, talking about I'm I'm not a I'm not a man or a woman no more, I'm a baby. All these things, man, these things is weird, man. How these people, you know, got this stuff set up, you know what I'm saying? And pretty soon it's gonna it's gonna get put right back in order. So it says, least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau for for one morsel of meat, so it was his birthright. And it wasn't his from the beginning anyway, man. Alright. It was meant for Jacob. Let's see. Isaiah 3 and 9. The show of their continents thought witness against them. They declare their sin as Sodom, right? So having sex with a man, and if you a man, that's Sodom. Having sex with a woman, and you a woman, that's Sodom, man. Sodom and Gomorrah, all right? A.K.A. Sodomite. I'm saying? They hide it not. So this, these people don't hide the fact that, you know, that the LGBTQ, QQRR, CC, BBBB, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They hide it not. You know, remember that back in the 90s and the 80s, I think it was 80s and the 70s, they called it in a the closet. They were sneaking around, sleeping with each other. And now it's wide, it's, it's wide uh, out in the open. You see the BET Awards, the MTV Awards, the Grammys, the Emmys, the Oscars. You know what I'm saying? It's all over the place. You turn on your TV, you see them. You see them in T-Mobile commercials, Sprint commercials, iPhone commercials, kissing, dating apps, all this stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? McDonald's commercials. They hide it not. They don't hide the fact that they lesbos and uh, you know, 
and all this and that. They don't hide that. It's out in the open now, man. They hide it not. War unto their souls. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Right, because you wasn't born that way. I was born that way. I, I meant to be a girl. I'm that new, man. You was born a dude. You know what I'm saying? I've been on hormone pills since I was 13. You know? No, <laughs> no, man. The Lord made a mistake. No, he didn't, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? So it says, they hide it not one to the soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Right? So bad times coming. America going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. You know what I'm saying? But first, the MOTB have to be implemented, have to be mandatory. World War Three have to pop off. Famine, plagues, pestilence, all these things going to happen. You hear me? And the prophets you laughed at going to laugh at you in that time. You hear me? Let's go back to the article. I'm done on that. It says, who, who sought out vulnerable men often gay. See? And you know, you know that, you know, it really mean, that word really mean right there. Because you know that word gay means so many things. So you got to go to the real origins of that word means Sodom, man. Sodomite. All right? Because the word gay means happy. Just like they took the rainbow and it turned the rainbow into something, you know, LGBTQ, CCC, and all that. The rainbow, the Lord made the rainbow to uh, uh, to give us a sign that he'll never flood the earth again. That's why when you see a rainbow, that's what that means. The Lord not going to flood this place with water no more. All right? This time he's going to flood it with fire. You know, just like Sodom and Gomorrah got hit with that brimstone and fire. This place is going to get hit with nuclear fire and laser beams from those chariots. And people think it's a game when automatically it's going to happen. You can laugh, scoff, and score on point, laugh, and caca, and all that. But the Lord's still going to destroy this place, man. All right? So it says often gay and black. You know what I'm saying? So... You see that, man. All these so-called white people is racist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if they're not, then what? what's up with the whites-only whites only water fountain and the colored water fountains, man? You know what I'm saying? And a, and a lot of other things I ain't naming right now. You know, often gay, it says, and black. As a means of satisfying... His sexual fetish. Prosecutors wanted a judge to send Buck to prison for the rest of his life. Right. If that was one of our people, they would have got thrown that automatically. Life in prison for selling weed. Life in prison for walking up the street. Life in prison or death from whistling at a white girl, man. So-called. You know? The rest of his life. If Buck were ever released... He will feel his compulsion to inject others until the day he died. Right. This dude not going to never stop doing that, man. Need to put him to death, man. All right. It says, they said in a court, uh, it says, filing the victims of his party and play sessions as a prosecutor called it work. So look, uh, so look, man, automatically this shows you how these people rock. And there's many stories. This ain't the only one, man. Look at those Catholic priests. Look at those so-called pastors. What they doing to those little boys? Look at the, uh, what they call that, man? Damn, what they call that when they teach those little boys how to, you know, go through the forest and hunt and all that? Damn, what they call that? The Boys Club? Something like that, man. Anyway, they go camping and shit like that. And look what they doing to those little boys, man. They molesting these, these children. And I can't stand a molester, a pedophile and all that. I can't stand that, man. Made it, made the Lord destroy all of them, man. Cause you taking people childhood away. You know what I'm saying? You taking these little boys' manhood. You taking these little boys' childhood. These these little girls' childhood. You know what I'm saying? That's some traumatizing stuff. That will never leave your head, man. You know what I'm saying? So it says we're Gummo Moore, and 26 year old who overdosed at Buck's apartment in mid 2017. See, this came out in 2017. I ain't never heard of it until now, man. See what I'm saying? How come they didn't plaster this up like they did Bill Cosby? You know what I'm saying? And Timothy Dean, 55, who died at Buck's home two years later. 
what I'm saying? So this, you know, this, this wasn't back to back. 2017, and then it was two years later after that. You know? Yeah, man, so what vocab at doing a video on this? He's not going to do it. Because his main objective as a demon and as a as a heathen, you know what I'm saying, and as an agent, he's going to keep coming at the us, man. All right? Lord willing, this is edifying, called Loyam. Shalom.